Welcome back everyone. New on the four, an update on Blanket Fort Hope, which is impacting children caught up in human trafficking. The organization will host their groundbreaking ceremony at their new restoration home for children. Our Anjane Robinson is joining us now, our Shelby County reporter, to show us sadly there is a need for a home like this. That's right, Sarah. Do you remember when you were a child and you built forts with blankets and you felt safe and secure? Well, that's exactly what this organization is doing. They're building blanket forts that they're calling hope for sex trafficking victims. Now, Blanket Fort Hope has been on a seven year journey for building this restoration home and creating relationships with DHR, law enforcement and the Children's Hospital. Now, this new home will be the first of its kind in the state of Alabama, specifically focusing on children with trauma. Now the home will house children ages 12 to 17 and so far the organization has helped 26 children and now they're ready to open up their own home and help even more. What hurts the victim most is not the cruelty of the oppressor but the silence of the bystander and I think we see so much of that because we want to believe that human trafficking of children does not happen when in fact 57% of all victims in our state are children. Now, James says that nine beds is not enough, and this is just the beginning for Blanket Fort Hope. Now, if you're interested in donating, volunteering, or even showing your support at their groundbreaking ceremony, head over to their website, BlanketFortHope.org, to learn more. Reporting live from Shelby County, Anjane Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.